Warning! This video may not be suitable for all viewers. This content is aimed towards adults, and adults who are not easily triggered over harmless fiction, and knows how to separate harmless fiction from reality. We are not responsible for you getting triggered. You have been warned. Ooh woo! Hey, what's up everyone? It is I, the Video Game Hunter, and welcome to another VG8 Let's Play. And today, we are going to be playing a game that I found on this website called DLSite.com. And if you watch my past Let's Play videos, you know I come to this website all the time looking for some good 2D platformer games. But today's game is going to be completely different. Because in this game, you team up with these fine, sexy anime chicks and you go and mow down some zombies in this first person shooter game called Seed of Dead Sweet Home. So, that being said, let's go and give this game a look. Ooh, look at that main menu. That looks pretty awesome and sexy. Nice. So, let's go to options. I want to look at the controls. I'm pretty sure it's like any other first person shooter, but I want to double check real quick. NTR scene. Oh no! There's gonna be NTR in here. And for those who don't know what NTR is, it's. Uh. It's usually when a woman cheats on the husband or boyfriend. It's usually the women. I don't think they usually use NTRs on the men, but it's mostly women. But I I think that's pretty cool they put a option for you to turn that off. But I think it's it would have been a better idea if you put a quick description of what a NTR is. No, I'm actually going to leave that alone because if I mess with the graphics too much, uh, I don't think my um, computer can handle the OBS recording and the gameplay's being recorded at the same time. So I'm going to leave that alone because I don't have that powerful of a computer. My computer is pretty good. It's just not that powerful to handle both high definition recordings at the same time. Yeah, I'll leave it on normal and let's go and start this game. See how this game turns out. Oh, great. They mixed up with realistic human beings with anime characters. Oh. I really hate when people do that. That's so unnatural. Don't do that. What is that? Is that the protagonist? I'm guessing because his uh, bangs are covering up his eyes. And usually when you see that in a so-called anime, he's most likely going to be banging a bunch of chicks. Yeah, people, stop chatting. A real-life anime chick is talking. God, they look so out of place. God, you, you look so out of place here. You know, in most of my Let's Plays, I'll be playing the game right now. But, this is not my typical let's play because we're actually playing a first person shooter and it looks like they are trying their best to make this like a triple A game or something. But like I said, they mix realistic human models with anime models. Ugh, this is going to be weird. 
See, I'm commentating on this, and because of that, I'm not 100% sure what's going on. Look at those baggage. So, don't think it's easy to die here. So what you're saying is, if I take my pistol and point it to my head and I blast myself, you can easily help me to fight the next day then, right? If not, then I'm going to say yes. Yes, I do think it's easy to die here. If you cannot just simply fix that. Not say I'm going to end myself, but just pointing out your little flaw you have. You know, I don't mind um, having story in a game, but I'm doing a let's play here, and it's taking quite a while for me to get straight to the gameplay. And it's the gameplay what you guys care for the most, not really much of a story. So there's a good chance I might be cutting a lot of the stuff I said in the beginning, just to get straight to the point. It's been officially past 30 minutes now, and we have yet to see any action. And you ladies have decided to abandon me so you can go and get some action? Pathetic. I'm sure you three are way more important, important in this town. I'm just a refugee, remember? I probably don't matter at all. So I probably should be going out in the battlefield, not you three. If I die, it means nothing. If one of you three dies, it most likely will mean something to this town. Okay, so I'm assuming uh, other guns like this machine gun and whatnot, I have a limited amount of bullets. Except for the pistol, looks like I got infinite amount of those. Okay, I I'm guess I'm okay with that. There we go, killing some zombies. Oh, I'm disappointed. The uh, I'm not really all that impressed with the physics, and with this shiny thing over here. How come you get to take it? What what did we find? What, could, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's, oh, okay. That's a giant gallon gun. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is that? But what is it? You say it, it might be useful, but you're not telling me what it is or what does it do? Oh, gosh. I'm really not that impressed with the physics right now. I'm going to switch to a pistol that easy to kill. Yeah? Yeah? I'm hoping we find some stronger enemies because these are weak. Bunch of fucking weaklings? My god. If I end up completely hating this game, um, there's no way for me to return this game. All sales are final, I believe, in DL site. So, yeah. I bought quite a few games on the L side that turned out to be shit. But I have bought a lot of games on the side that turned out to be gold. Mostly 2D platformer games. And the 2D platform games I'm thinking of on DL side is, uh... Oh, what is it? Uh, is that Castlevania Succubus game? I actually bought that game twice. One on the DL side. And then when it finished it got released on Steam, I bought it on Steam because I might 100% that game with achievements on there one day. Who knows? Ah, uh, you know, the trailer for this game that's on the DL side looks so much more exciting. But no, we are, s I am just running through this without really getting hurt. Oh, what was that? Okay, that's like one of the most interesting things I've seen in this game so far. Wow. 
I'm not even sure we're hurting the little warm thing, but we we killed that spider like creature. But can we kill this warm thing? Yeah, we finally killed it. Oh. I. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, that's. That's how you heal? What the hell? Oh, what's, let me try that again. Oh, what? Oh, okay, I guess we gotta do that again. That is not how you're supposed to heal ladies in a game. Well, not usually. What? No! Oh. Oh, wow. Um, you're, you're completely naked, ma'am. Can you put some clothes on? Okay, you got a bikini on. I guess that, I guess, uh, I, I guess I cannot censor that when I get to the editing part. But damn, man, what was that? I didn't think that's how you're gonna, gonna heal your allies in this game, but damn. Okay. I didn't think she'd consent. I didn't know what to expect. I, I thought I'll be giving her first aid or something, but no, you downlight and bang her right there and then. Damn. Cause I feel like this video is gonna get so demonetized as soon as I upload it. Unless YouTube is perfectly okay with um, video game characters only having bras on. I recently just got monetized and I don't know what's okay and what's not okay for your videos to be monetized. Oh, I, oh, I see a, a pink sphere there. I don't know what those things do, but I'm going to go ahead and collect them. I hope it allows me to unlock some new stuff. Well, all those zombies just got back. Oh, oh, I'm getting hurt. Oh, right now things are getting interesting. Boom! Oh, that was that was awesome. I'm not gonna lie, I was mighty impressed with that violence and gore I saw. Oh, we healed her. I don't know how you keep on dying, but stop dying. If you if you keep dying, then there's gonna be a lot of more um, censoring stuff I have to be doing during the video editing process. Oh, I just realized I got money. Oh, that points at the top right. I will say this, I think it is pretty cool they point out saying, hey, there's guns here. Oh, so I'm, I am only allowed to carry up to three weapons. So what kind of weapons do I have right now? I'm not much of a sniper person, so I'm gonna try to switch this out for a shotgun. It's not a zombie game unless you have a shotgun. If anyone tells you otherwise, they're lying. Well, now I'm thinking about it, they are not going by the zombie rules. To you, for you to kill a zombie, you have to blast their brains off. They're not doing that in this game. Okay, that, that glitch, I don't know. Okay, like I said, in most zombie movies or games uh, I've seen, to kill a zombie, you have to blast their brains off. Here, it's like, hey, anywhere, shoot them anywhere, they'll, they'll be dead. But you shoot them in the head in this game, their heads explode. 
as they should. Checkpoint! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a checkpoint where you have to hit E to activate it. Usually you just walk to a certain point and then you get a checkpoint. This is the first, to be honest. I'm safely gonna say this. This is definitely gonna be. This video is definitely gonna be longer than 30 minutes. Why are you guys just jump into the battlefield? It'd be smarter if you just stay on the high ground. I mean, didn't you guys learn anything from watching Star Wars Episode 3? Oh! Okay, maybe the high ground is not the best thing to do. I can't see- oh my god, I can't see everyone, get out of the way! Yep, I- I should have watched my back. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, all those zombies that was sus around me. Yeah, staying on the high ground is, is probably the best choice. But I also wasn't paying attention who was behind me, so... Maybe look behind you before you choose the high ground. Okay, making sure everyone's alive and I don't have to bang anyone. So that's for you to get your health back. Well, apparently they're little zombies. But I see you already took them out. I don't trust that thing. Okay, that's just a rock. But still, I don't trust that rock. S something tells me that rock is coming after us later on in the game. I guarantee you that rock is going to get us. Oh, you were naked for a moment. Huh, was that creature about to do stuff to you? Hey look, you got your clothes back on. Nice. Maybe because I banged you. Gosh, how does this world work? Oh no, you gotta attack. Your clothes are gone. How do we make you get your clothes back on? I know, let's bang! Okay, I didn't expect that to work, but hey! But now we know! <laughs> oh! Fight again. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. Don't question how this reality works. I have to bang you so you can get health back. There. Now let's get your clothes back on. We get you got your health back. Now we gotta bang again so you can have your health back. Oh, not health, clothes. You know what? This is actually so amusing. Yep, yeah, there you go. Your clothes are back. All right, everybody. Are we all good? We're all good. All right, let's go and continue on. Ain't, 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 um, Zombie Land one of the rules is to, sh uh, to shoot them again and make sure they stay dead? I, th I think it is. I don't know, it's been forever since I saw that movie Zombie Land. Don't get all stingy with your bullets. I mean, one more clean shot to the head. <laughs> and this lady could have avoided becoming a human Happy Meal. That movie was a, is a perfect survival guide, just in case there's a zombie apocalypse. I have yet to see the sequel of that movie. I'm not 100% sure if it's any good or not, so... If you want my opinion on that, it ain't gonna happen right now. Maybe later. Oh, man, this game actually might be slightly better than Duke Nukem Forever. 
I I played very little of Duke Nukem Forever, but I did not get that far in the game. I think I lost my interest as soon as I got to the um, RC vehicle. Oh, an act clear! Clear! Yay! <laughs> Alright, new, new intimacy event for Aya. Good night has been unlocked. Really? Really? I like to see, I like to see that. Ammo and sock steel body has been unlocked. Okay. Default magazine expansion striker fury. Oh, I guess I, one of my guns is getting an expansion slots in the magazine. That's probably a good thing. I don't think I ever play any other game that had an option like int intimacy mode besides a uh, Senra Kagura. You know, this is actually might be the best um, first-person shooter anime game I ever played. And the reason I'm saying that because the only other anime first-person shooter that I actually played... Actually, that wasn't a first-person shooter now thinking about. That was third-person, but still. I'm going to put these in the same categories. The other shooter game I played that was anime-like was Bullet Girls. And that was a game where... Sometimes the enemies will not respond even though you give them a direct headshot. And even when even when the enemy is standing right next to the partner, if I shoot the partner right in the head and they suddenly die, sometimes they'll have zero reactions. Like no joke. Well, I guess he was really tired. Well, I won't wake him up then. Hmm. Okay. That's how I get work done. For me to get work done, I have to stare at a computer. Like, no joke. Do do you guys want to see a new video? I have to look at the computer screen to make sure this gets done. Oh shit, what did I do? Oh man, I, I think I accidentally skipped it. Damn it. Okay, okay, uh, where'd you go? Oh, let me try. I want to see intimacy mode again. Oh, I don't have my guns from the previous level. Oh, that's stupid. Oh, let's kill you. Ah, uh, that's a. That's really a bum. I don't have my guns from the previous mission. Oh, great. There goes the clothes. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. No, oh, oh, whoa. Wow, I thought, I thought that only happened in boss fights. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, damn. What the fuck is that? And it, it's just slid across the room, too. Well, not the room, but it's just slid across the ground. Look out, little one. Did you actually just blew that monster's head off? Damn. That's a badass woman right there. I really do think that was totally by accident. Mm. Oh. Damn, you look like a crack at it. Not gonna lie. You're such a crack at it, you lost an arm because of it. I got no grenades left. That's not good. Oh, why don't I have any grenades? That grenades could be so much helpful right now. God dang it. Die, you zombies. Okay. Oh, Hikari needs to get banged, too. So, Hikari, get over here. You're getting banged. You need the health. Oh, get over here. Oh, great. Well, at least I don't have to worry about censorship right here. The game is doing it for me accidentally. Again. Oh, 
Oh god, why is the game getting glitchy all of a sudden? It was actually working pretty well until now. I wanted it because I'm recording the gameplay and recording my webcam at the same time. That's actually one of the reasons why you don't see me do Let's Plays on 3D games all that much. If this keeps if this keeps um bugging up on me. I might have to stop the let's play now. I don't think those things are supposed to be indoors cuz now the game is being all weird. Yeah, that's not natural. I am so trying to... Did I kill that worm? Yeah. I don't think that worm is supposed to be inside the building. Because it's really glitching up. And there you have it, folks. That was Seed of the Dead Sweet Home. And to give you guys my final thoughts. Well, first off, I have to mention this. Is that I do, in fact, deeply apologize for the gameplay footage you saw throughout this whole Let's Play. Because, um... The reason why the game was so glitchy at times, or some lags going on, was in fact because that I was recording myself with the webcam and recording the gameplay footage at the same time. Like I'm supposed to. But because of that, was actually affecting the game that I was playing. So, again, I really do deeply apologize for that. So, to give you my real critique on the game, well... I really did in fact enjoy this. Um, the first level was actually pretty easy to get through, not gonna lie. But once you get to the second level and so on, the game is gonna get a bit more challenging and you're gonna be introduced some new monsters that it's gonna take maybe some strategy for you to kill them. But the good news is that uh, all the points you accumulate th um, throughout the levels um, you can actually use that point to upgrade your, I guess, your skill tree, if you like to call it that. And you can actually use those skill points um, to go and buy items. And boy, some of the items are, are quite interesting to see. I wish I can show you them, but I don't think YouTube will allow it and censoring it. It's not really worth it because you probably won't be able to see that I want to show you guys. But that being said, the one thing I really do hate about this game is is really my biggest issue is the fact they use a lot of reused assets, and the reused assets they use don't really go well with the anime characters. Because I really don't like the fact when anime characters are mixed in with the realistic people. It feels so out of place and hopefully if they make a sequel to this or make another game like this, um, hopefully they put more original content in this game. But other than that, I really enjoy this game and I really do recommend it. But the only, again, the real downside is this. I don't know you guys will, will be happy with this, but the cost of this game is about... 30 bucks on DL site. Uh, personally, I'm not really okay with paying $30 for something that has a lot of reused assets. But the fact that I enjoy this game so much, I think I'm going to forgive them for that. So, other than that, I'm just going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Video Game Hunter. And until next time, goodbye. You're doing, but how far ahead did you plan all of the screwing? Cut that pussy shit, get up on that pussy bitch, call me mistress, like you know that you're.